Hi, I'm Logan, and today we're going to talk about direct inject system on a four series sprayer. Starting with our fill components, this is where you would fill your direct inject. There's a dry lock coupler, comes from your nurse tank, goes on here. Turn your valve and it will fill up through the bottom to your tanks. Your A tanks are on the outside, B tanks are on the inside. Here we have our Sidekick Pro Raven pump. This is how our direct inject system operates. It is tied to our Gen 4 monitor when all of our controls are from the cab. Here we have our selector valves of which tanks we will be using product out of. A tank, this would be on in the on position, off. This would be our B tanks, on and off. This valve here is to rinse through that circuit. There is a strainer for each set of tanks, A tank and B tanks. If you're having problems with your system, it's a good idea to turn the hand valve, which is back in there, and remove that strainer and clean it after switching products. Operating the DI system with the valve in this position, it is for recirculation back to the tanks themselves. If we turn the valve to this position, that is how it goes to our mixing chamber located on top of the boom. This valve here simply changes between which tanks we are recirculating to, whether it be the A tanks or the B tanks. There are a few options on the four series sprayers for direct inject. This system runs two products with one high volume pump. The high volume pump is five to 200 ounces per minute. Low volume pump is one to 40 ounces per minute. If we had a low volume pump, it would be mounted here with its own 35 gallon tank. With the two product system, we have two 50 gallon tanks per product, 100 gallons total. Um, this system is running one high volume pump with dual products. There, if we had another high volume pump, it would be mounted here and these valves would not be here. I'm going to show you how to prime and calibrate the high volume direct inject pump. We want this valve turned to recirculate. You want to make sure you are pointed at the right tanks for the product you are using and then plunger all the way to the top. And then on the monitor, you will push prime. I like to tell people to run that two to three times to make sure you have all the air purged from the system. After you have done that, you wanna push the plunger all the way down. And then from the monitor, you will push cal. Once you have calibrated the system, you wanna put the plunger cover back over the top. There are two cross hatches towards the top of the calibration chamber. Your plunger needs to be in the middle of those to have an accurate calibration. When you go to prime your system from the Gen 4 monitor, you will have to go to your main menu, Applications, Isobus VT, and it'll be under this drop down box. If you have more than one pump, they will show up here. We only have one, so we're going to work with our number one pump. Up here in this drop down box is where you would select Cal Prime. Go to the wrench and screwdriver. With the pump on, push Start Prime. It will tell you to make sure that you have that recirculation valve set to the proper position so that it returns back to the tank. Push OK, and it will go through the prime cycle. Once that is complete, you can push stop prime and it'll tell you to check your valves. So when we go to calibrate it, we push that plunger back down, do the same thing, start cal, make sure your valve is pointed towards the tank. And it'll tell you to check your level of your plunger to the calibration tube. To set up your rates for your direct inject system, you'll come back into that drop down, and most of the time you will have it set in auto. 
And then you can set your target ounces per acre here. And then as soon as you go to start spraying, you just turn this on. And when you hit your master spray button on the armrest, the direct inject system will turn on. With the newer direct inject systems, there is a place where you can go in here and actually do an automated rinse where it will pull water out of the rinse water tank and rinse your direct inject pump. It is done through the wrench and screwdriver. It will ask you your level of rinse. And to do that, you turn your master spray switch on from the armrest. With the Gen 4s, you can, from your main sprayer page, you can touch here and turn your um, direct inject pump on and also change your ounces per acre. If for any reason you're having problems with a tank or product, you can shut them off individually. There's a shutoff valve on the bottom of each tank. There is a special tool for shutting off those tanks that are hard to reach. It comes with every direct inject kit installed. I should also point out that this kit is not available factory installed. It is dealer installed only. On our boom, this is our mixing chamber. Our line comes in here from the direct inject pump to this check valve and into the mixing chamber. When you're spraying, you have solution coming out of your main solution tank through here, comes through the mixing chamber and picks up your solution direct from the direct inject. And then it goes to the Y manifold out to the entire boom. There is a check valve here so that you don't get solution going back into the direct inject system. Most of them have a plastic check valve here the stainless steel one is an option. If we were direct injecting more than one product at a time, if we had more than one pump, you would have another check valve and elbow here and here as well for your low volume. If you have any other questions on your direct inject system, you can contact your local Landmark dealer.